Ernest Hemingway and Marlena were the best of pals. It's the only way of putting it. It's like two college guys that were out on a bender. That's pretty much their relationship. Objetos personales de una de las leyendas del cine, Marlene Dietrich, serán subastados en el Museo de Hollywood en Los Ángeles. Entre la colección se encuentra una carta de amor escrita por Ernest Hemingway, platería, encendedores de cigarros y una caja musical de cilindro suizo de finales del siglo XIX. And so this collection shows the side of her that was a little bit more um, human in that sense. You know, she spoke a lot about politics, she spoke a lot about different things that were going on in her life um, in a much more personal and less Marlene Dietrich way. And I think that's the interesting thing about the letters and a lot of the personal items. They reflect a different person from the created and crafted image that she intended the public to see most of the time. El Museo de Hollywood se encuentra en el histórico edificio Max Factor y muestra alrededor de 250 piezas que serán parte de la puja. La alemana Marlene Dietrich falleció en París en 1992 a la edad de 90 años. La glamorosa actriz causó sensación en 1930 por el musical alemán El Ángel Azul.